Hello everyone, my name is Kist, and welcome back to Trackling 101. Today, we're going to be building towards the logging camp. Let's get started. So here we are back in Paint 3D, just to kind of draw out our route for today. What are we going to do? Well, remember, we're trying to get here from the sawmill over to the logging camp. And I think the simplest answer would be just to kind of make an L over there. This is not the only way you can do it. You can do, people sometimes will do crazy curves to get over there. Maybe they'll cut right and hug the mountain till they get over there. Um, I even seen somebody once do a helix like that or spiraled to get over to a logging camp. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a solid L grade to get to the logging camp. Now, that's the other kind of important thing for today, is somewhere along this route, we're going to need to build up. We're going to have the tracks go up at a grade, and we'll be able to ta tackle that. Now, I'm actually thinking either about making this a double main line, or just keeping it single track. I'll have to decide on that uh, when we get back in-game, but for now, that is the plan. And how we're actually going to start this is the logging camp. So let's go back in-game. And start there so here we are at the logging camp it's kind of weird looking at the rest of the map without any trees because we can just see so much but also gives us a great chance to kind of see the terrain if we were to come from this side that I'm facing the most simple solution would probably be to curve left in between both these hills but remember what um, I just drew is we're gonna be coming from this way, this stretch. So somewhere in here, I need to probably put a switch or just something to kind of get our spacings. I think the best way to start this is to build from the docks again. Now, just like we did for the sawmill, I'm gonna use my bridge to kind of get our spacing. Let's see, bring it a little closer. Okay, so just like before, I'm trying to look for the beams to be in line with the posts. From there, using circle mode, I just draw this out. We're gonna go far away, and you can see that it's at an angle. Again, because the industry is at not the best spot. I hope I can just kinda, moment of truth, let's test this to see how centered it is. Look at that. It's a little, little far to the left. That's not an issue. So again, we're looking at where they are to the post. That's when I look up there in the top right. Um, I put it on the outside, so now I'm gonna go a little bit on the inside. This probably will be good. Let's put a crossover piece just to make sure. And, and delete. Or have to leave. <laughs> load. It's pretty good. <laughs> Alright. So, just like last time, we're not going to keep that. But we are, I think it's going to use some kind of, at least bridge one, to mark out the loading areas. We don't need to contain it in the entire dock because the car, if it's centered on the um, crane, it won't extend that far. So I'm probably going to go 18 to round up. And then from here, you can just do a short little straight piece. However, do not build directly to the end just yet. We're going to kind of save that. So from here, I can, I can probably build straight out. That's what I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to go a straight piece out. And also, notice the spacing. If you have built on your worlds before, you might have noticed that tracks will sometimes clip into this building. So, but using this method, now we have finally a straight piece that doesn't clip and will not clip the other side. So, now we're on the other side. And exact same thing as before, where we're trying to find the, the spacing. So, I'm at alignment 181. But you can already see, if you look very carefully on the left side here and here, 
that one of them, it's already at an angle. So I'm going to tilt them both into 180. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's that. Now let's see what... Wait, does it not load? Pretty good. Pretty good. I think I'm going to keep it. So same, same thing as before. Um, I'm going to use the bridge. And can I extend out? I think... Another, let's do another 18. That looks good. Now, I'm actually going to leave this to it to make sure we have some point of a reference. I'm going to keep that crossover on the other side. And just like before, I'm going to build out. Maybe... Uh, uh, let's do 40 meters. I don't know. We're going to go for it. Now, here's the fun part. Making this part cross over or turn to head towards there. I think the best thing to do... Thinking, how far over do I want this to go? I think here. Okay. That's it's probably will be really tight, but let's just see if I can get a good angle. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's rather tight. Let's see if I do forty seven. Oh, it's really short. Not what I meant to do. Alright, so in cases like this, where, yeah, we have a switch, that's great and all, but the curve is going to be too, too annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to build it from this piece first. Now, to save space, because we do have a lot of flat area up here, so I'm not too concerned about um, exact spacings. I'm going I'm to build a little, I'm going to build a, a slight straight piece out. 10 meters and then I'm going to start my curve so I'm going to do a hundred meter radius to start remember spiral curves create the smooth transition about five meters immediately from here I'm going to 50 remember to do shorter segments because um, we want to keep the centricity and look at that now I have something a little bit better. Come on. You can see, look at that transition to the curve. It is kind of sharp, but it's a lot smoother than just doing a straight 50 meter radius. So somewhere in here I need to place my switch. If I do it from here... Okay, it's really close. Let's do that short... Um, 100 meter. Oh. Alright, so we go 5 meters. Look at that. I love that. Now it should be going roughly um, as far out as we want. It's going to go in that direction. So from here, I need to place another switch. We're going to make the logging camp into a loop. So, I wonder what happens if I were just to connect it to the piece we made. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that looks royally bad. Look up in the top left. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, do not fear. What we're going to do is, I'm going to make that 100 meter section, but I'm actually going to make it kind of... Big. I'm gonna do like a 10 meter. I know. Living the in the rich man's world. I think um I'll probably extend this out just by a little bit more. I don't wanna miss I don't wanna say a lot. Actually Yeah, we'll do a let's do thirteen and then we'll do a hundred 
meter radius for about 10. And let's see what happens when I try connecting these two. I think I'm actually too far out on the cordwood side. Let's see what's going to work. Let's go look at it in roads extended. Okay. So we can clearly see that this outside curve is very wonky. It's in the shape of a J. The problem is this straight piece is too far out. So I need to push it back. So let's just go back in game. And let's take care of that right now. So that didn't work. And I think the problem is um, it can't find a good radius. So we're going to have to find one ourselves. You know what? It's so close. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. Okay, there we go. Finally. So much work for one curve. So in cases like this where the freehand tool won't really work, you just gotta iron it out yourself and do it a little bit manually. So from here, now that we got both those curves in place, all I'm gonna do is place a few straight pieces of track. Just temporary little things, just so I can understand what's happening. 10 meters probably from this. Okay. So I think from here, the next thing we need to do is start the grade down. Build from the, the top down is probably the best way to do a grade. So we actually don't need to do a grade just yet. Let's see how far out I want it to be. You know, 10. 10 meter segments. That's, that's the goal. That's the thing. So from here, I'm going to use a DNRG Western Bridge. I actually probably start the grade here. Now, um, real quickly, the thing I noticed about grades, if you look very carefully, you can kind of see the curve of it. Let me make the grade stronger. You look really, really closely. You can clearly see a curve happening from the stone wall down to the right. The thing to notice about grades is that it will try to like make an even curve from level ground. So let me do negative 2% here. So this entire time it's curving, right? But as soon as I, I get off level ground, now we have a straight diagonal piece. There is no curve. So the takeaway is whenever you build from flat ground, a level piece of track, you need to be mindful of the curve. It will not... I repeat, it will not be the same um, once you're on the grade. And I can kind of show you here. So I'm going to do a 5 meter piece out, and then like this. Okay, I'm going to put a crossover on the other side. So we have a short little piece to level grade. Now let me make a, we'll use a different color. Do the same thing, but only hold it out. Do you see the height difference? It's insane. So this one, remember, it was just one giant piece from a level piece of track. 
this was two pieces one where we did where we put a short piece to start the grade and then this bigger bridge is the grade itself but look at the difference the one on the left is higher and so you need to be careful of this whenever you build on a grade it's kind of it's what's gonna make or break if you make I'll say make a good grade So, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to use Denver Rio Grande Western. I'm going to do the same thing, about 2 meters. Uh, you know what, let's do a, let's do a 10 meter. Because we all love 10 meter segments. Scratch that, 9. We all like 9 meter segments. Yay! So, taking the same bridge now. I'm just going to extend the grade out. And so we're now going to cut the terrain. Awesome. But since we hit the terrain, we don't need um, uh, a bridge going over it. So I'm going to cut the bridge off there. Get my stone wall. Fill link. Extend this out a little bit. 10 meter segment, you already know. I should probably put just regular groundwork here. So let's do 23. Round it out. Same thing here. You already know. 10 meter. Yeah. So, now I'm just going to do the same thing. Let's see if I can get my bridge to link. Oh, there you go. There we go. Now, it's really just this easy. You can extend it out. Now, we're going to... Let's just do one big piece for now. And look at that. Beautiful. Now, the reason I didn't extend it all the way down is, remember, we still have to worry about that leveling out. It still works on the bottom, too. The track needs to level out to flat ground. So right before we build that last segment so it can level out, just want to look at it from the top, and you can kind of see what I mean. <laughs> we have a pretty... Not necessarily intimidating, but kind of a cool looking shot of that downhill grade. But you can see what I was talking about, that leveling out, it curves ever so slightly. If I back up, if you look at the railings here, you can kind of see the, the curve that happens between them. Pretty cool. I guess I could probably maybe like delete this piece and just make the groundwork one giant piece. Uh, let's test that before I actually replace it. There we go. Eh. It's I think I know what I, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Sometimes it can look a little weird, so I'm actually I think I did a ten meter. I'm gonna. Push it back and do an 8 meter straight segment from here. I'm then going to delete this bridge and replace it. Now let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Now we have a one smooth piece of track that gets us onto the grade. I think it hicks up just a little bit. It looks like there's like a little bump in the middle, I think. I honestly can't tell. There, there is. Weirdly enough, there's like a slight bump. You probably can't see it because it's really, really tiny. But this is it's 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 easy to fix. There we go. I think that works a little bit better. So that way we have a nice transition onto our grade. It's just this constant straight piece down. Eventually this bridge will be deleted. We're gonna kinda we don't need a bridge this close to the ground. We only really need it from like this support over. Even then, maybe not, maybe not even that, we probably need it from somewhere like here over. So we'll get to that. Now 
the fun part. I wonder what happens if I just level it out. Ah, uh, okay. Probably from like here. Let's see. I wonder if this will be too tall. What I'm doing now is I'm just trying to extend pieces out to see where they will connect from each other. From here, I'm going to be careful and do shorter pieces. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> That's okay. I think I see, um... I think we can do a nice big curve. Oh. And not 50 meter. We can do something a lot bigger. So, if you look really closely, well, I want you to watch the curve here. Watch what happens to it. Because the more I drag it out. You see how it's moving over to the left? Slowly but surely. Watch what happens if I bring it closer. See how it moves back towards the right? This is what I was talking about when it comes to... Um, the centricity or centricity can be kind of annoying. All right, so I think it was around like a hundred and thirty. So let's see what happens if I do that. So we're gonna do one twenty-five just to make sure. And we're not worrying about how close it's getting to the ground right now. Okay, so that was actually way too much. So. Maybe like on the 110 side, maybe even like hundreds. Oh, was that just the, oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> okay, 10 meter, because that's her favorite number. Or nine meter, depending on the situation, we don't judge. Uh, let's do an even hundred, let's, let's just say screw it, let's, what happens? We'll see what happens. Hmm. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> you see how it clipped on the ground right there? Nope. So we gotta do at least maybe 110. Yeah, that won't work. It's clipping to the ground too much. Alright. So, we'll extend the straight piece out just a little bit. I should do it. That's just kind of easy part, trial and error. Let's so, see if I can just get this done. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we got that curve done, um, there's a kind of there's one way we can kind of get this. It's not perfect. I'm sure this might be just completely the wrong uh, direction. It's close, but um, let's see. This is um, the end of the track, so I'm trying to make sure it's at the right angle when I place it. Okay. So I'm using this now as to see when it will get in line with the rails. To be very careful about it. Alright, let's say 71 meters. Try to extend this out. This should, I'm crossing my fingers here, should be level with the rail. Would you look at that? And I just deleted that slide. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fix this. Also, I guess the answer from earlier was single track. Single track made mine. Uh, let's do a shorter piece, like. 70, that'll probably be good. And one and three, nice and even. From here, we can just connect it. Ah. Oh. You have no idea how happy this makes me. It just looks so good. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over here real quickly and talk about this grade. 
So I hope you can see now what I meant from earlier, how it curves out to level ground. So that's just one thing you gotta be careful of if you want smooth transitions between a grid. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna delete this real quickly. So we already know this groundwork is at a grade. Watch what happens when I place level track. There is no smoothing out. It just goes from a grade to a flat piece. Just be careful when you do this stuff. Switches and crossovers. You can't place them at a grade anymore. Oh, not at least not easily. If I just try placing it, it will be level versus at a grade. And so just, you gotta be careful with it. So from here, now that we can get back to bridge building, it was a 2% grade. So I, actually, I'm, actually, I'm gonna start groundwork. Groundwork first for a little bit until I think it gets too weird. That probably looks high enough. We're then gonna go to, to a stone wall piece for a little bit. Let's do 35. That looks good. Now I'm going to get my favorite. Let's see if this should. Kind of all things granted. A. So I'm just going to make one bridge piece, but I want the railing to be on the mountain side. I don't know. You don't have, it doesn't have to be. You can be whichever direction. There we go. Look at that. So don't have a nice transition. I think that that's the line to the logging camp done. She still have a long time to go, so in this one too, we're gonna build the logging camp loop as well. So let's go back over there and we'll start doing that. So for the design of the logging camp, my goal is to make it a loop. We're gonna have both of these lines to load logs, meet back with our switch all the way over here. Now, it's actually rather simple as in that. However, here's the challenge. We have a little bit of a hill right here. So, it's really it. <laughs> that, that's, that's it. I mean, I'm not going to add a yard just yet. Not until we at least get some trains going. But my first kind of goal is to see where... I actually need to climb the hill. Oh, actually right here, it dips down a little bit. It's not as high. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of shoot into this gap. I think, um, I think a 55 might do. And again, don't, ha don't know how many times I can keep saying it, but we wanna make sure to build in shorter segments to keep the centricity, they keep the circle of it. Okay, so, real quickly. So it needs to be ever so slightly higher. And we, we can do way more of a curve, now I think about it. <clears throat> Let's actually start going up right here. We'll do a, like a 60 meter. See how much of a difference that makes. Pretty good. Now I just gotta find a decent angle for this to come in at. Yeah, that actually probably does it. Um, ooh, that was weird. I should probably level it off first before I dare put in a a switch. I should level off. You did. But now, since we're actually up here, we clearly, or <laughs> we have plenty of clearance to actually make it. So, oop, I should leave this crossover while I can. There we go. Yep, so just to make sure I had plenty of distance to turn around, um, I aimed for this little kind of dip between the hill and the mountain here. So now I just gotta worry about the other track for the logging side 
And what I'm thinking about doing is putting a switch in here now. Maybe like that. But I'm going to back it up first, I think. Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll open it to the right. I think. Oh, nope. If you guys saw my little thing about double main lines, we're going to employ that now. Or double track main lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the spacing fairly simple using my second method. No, I'm not actually putting a switch there. I'm, I'm using this as a reference point. More specifically, on this side. Boop. I know there's not going to be a piece of track big enough to get over here, but we can try. Right, so. Almost. Maybe we can go a little bigger. And do not worry, I'm gonna... <gasps> no! <laughs> Actually, this works out. Hold on. Happy little accident at Bob Ross. So, 22.2. Do I put a bridge here? Should we put a bridge here? I'm gonna put a bridge here. <laughs> I mean, we probably don't need it. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back and clean this all up, but first we need to get the tracks in here first. So we did, what, 70? Now we're gonna do maybe an 80? Alright, so 70 was too much, 80 was too, or 70 was too little, 80 was too much. It was closer on the 70 side, so I think maybe like a 72? I think 72 should do it. Let's see if I'm right. I mean, that was close. I know this, maybe changing it to 73 at the last second here, what is worth it? No, so maybe two more seconds. Maybe we'll be big enough from this spot. Look at that. What I tell you. What I tell you. We're not going to worry about the height for right now. However, um, when we're over here at this area, let's kind of fix this up a little bit. So, what I was thinking about first was just the transition. Remember, we want to use the bridge as our, or not the bridge, the stone wall as our transition piece between groundwork and bridge. So, you already know. 10 meters. Beautiful amount, just uh, just saying. Connect it to that bridge. Should we clear the other rail and we are good. Um, we'll, we'll have to fix this other side too to make sure it's not too bad. So, thinking, we could put a stone wall out. So I'm actually gonna keep the groundwork part here, but we need to find where the stone wall actually comes into place. This is what, 60? Yeah, it goes up just a little bit. So we're going to actually stop it maybe. We'll do a nice 25. Then from here, we'll place this with stone wall. We'll replace this with stone wall. Ta da! And we have a nice little transition. Now, what I think I want to do is get rid of this. And uh, 
I, I like the darker D energy Western. Dang. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but we'll, we'll make do. Alright, now this side. This piece can go, this piece can stay. No, it's negative 60. By the way, negative 25. Transition piece. Oh, okay. Is it? Sixty. This might screw everything up, not gonna lie. We're gonna find out. Is it okay? Is there anything weird? I'm not sure I'm a little worried. It's fine. We're gonna trust it. It's fine. It's fine. But now we have a, like a little kind of scenic thing. Make sure water doesn't build up underneath or ballast anywhere and wash out. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with it. I think the transition's nice, but just to make sure, I'm gonna replace it. Yep, there you go. Nice and smooth. Beautiful looking curve, all the way over here. Ah, uh, you know what? No, <laughs> I'm replacing this. Oh, come on! Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of that stupid thing, whatever it was. Maybe I'm the stupid one. Look at this. Alright. I guess this one's kind of easy to do. Just gotta find a curve that works. It's not really, sorry for kind of being quiet here and there, there's not really too much to talk about. There's so much things to do. Or, I guess, really easy things to do. If you know my life, how much I just want to do. Alright, can we there? I don't think, I don't, I hope there's no collision issue the rail and the dock here. Gotta back it up quite a little bit. Uh, let's do 16. This hopefully will be fine. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna find out eventually, so we'll, we'll find out together when, when that happens. Until. Um, until then, I, I don't think there's a problem. I think we're all fine and dandy. <sighs> Alright. This is part of the loop complete. Some very kind of beautiful looking bridges. I don't know, I just love this white accent against them. Ah, oh, makes me happy. Maybe that transition is a little wonky, yeah, but I, I, it, it's fine, it works. Doesn't look so bad. Alright, from here, it's we just get to create a loop. Let's see. Okay, we have plenty of space. We can probably do something stupidly big. Um, we do have to go down though. I mean not that big of a piece. Is it too big of a radius? Wait, I did. <laughs> Whoops, scratch that. I'll try 100. Oh, too much. Uh, I'll actually save measure those two. 
Let's do 90. And I did way too little. Alright, so maybe I'm thinking now 110. Maybe? Close. So close. <laughs> Let's do like 113. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna build a curve and I'll come back after it's done. That took forever. But finally, it's done. It's connected. It's nice and circular. It's even. It's all these things. A very shallow grade. Literally almost nothing. Double track split. It's great. It's great. Eventually, this will be changed, I think, to add a yard of some sorts up here because we have so much space. Get this all the space you can imagine but i think that is it for now let's go take a look at it um in real extended and see how we did well all right then i don't know what the really goal is but it kind of looks like a i i don't know it just looks like a, like a shape like a very curvy shape i'll let you decide down below but I think we did pretty good we got really big curves here you can see all the colors we use for the bridges and whatnot but really nice return loop and yeah I think we did a good job everything's starting to come together we can really see the shape of our map or our railways start to take place eventually we're gonna head down here and oh boy do I have something exciting for everyone when it comes to that. I think before we do that though, it's kind of like a little short in between. Eh, maybe I'll make an episode dedicated to building a yard and fixing up the freight depot and everything else. But maybe next time we can actually start running a train, see if we can get our first train down to the sawmill. Just test out the track and make sure everything's working. Alrighty everyone, I think I'm gonna call it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye.